Yeah, g'day guys, welcome to another episode of Shanky Garage. In this episode, we'll be doing some repairs on the one ton of chassis. So over the years, the chassis has developed a bit of rust in some common areas. So basically we'll be cutting out the rust and putting in some patches, um, repairing the cab mounts and yeah, a few other bits and pieces as well. So hope you enjoy this video and get something out of it. And yeah, we'll jump straight into it. Okay, so just going to repair the cab mounts on the rear, so they're both are uh, pretty shot on both sides here pretty rusted so um, I've got a bit of an idea of how I'm gonna do it but I think I'll just use a hole saw cut out cut out the uh, rusted bits um, should be able to pick up the center uh, using the cat the old um, the old mount but there's a there's a lip here so that's still semi semi lines up so if I can yeah use this for the center so basically I've just got a, a socket which is the same same size as the hole where the bolt goes through so then when you go down that just lines that up so that's where you know your center is so now I can just swap that socket out with a hole saw and then cut the cut it out and then that'll basically um, yeah there's your center okay so just got the drill set up just on the chassis lined up with the center of that that hole just got some clamps as well clamping it to the to the base here of the drill Okay, so they're cut out. Just need to get some washers made up to weld back in there. So I'll have to go to a CNC uh, plasma cutter and get them to make up, yeah, two washers for there. Um, while I was doing that, I noticed that this uh, this bit here, which is basically where the tray mounts to, um, so this piece there sits in there like that. So I noticed there was a heap of rust under there so I've pulled that off and yeah you can see that's just rusted out it's all the all the shit behind it so it's yeah just probably just got moisture behind it and and just rusted over time so yeah there's rust there that'll need cutting out and then also on this this piece here it's rusted as well so I'll have to cut out a square and re-weld a piece in there just cut this piece of three mil plate just marked it out so I've just stuck that on there and gone around the gone around the edge of the texture marked it out so yeah I'll cut cut this out then I can use it as a template to mark the holes and then drill the holes and then um, and then yeah I can weld this weld this piece in Okay, so she's all welded in. I've just ground it all back with a angle grinder. So yeah, it's pretty flat. Um, I've just tried the this piece on there, and all the the bolt holes line up. So that's a that's a good thing. Okay, so I got told to have a look at this section here, just from the uh, Facebook page, the HQ to WB Facebook page. So I've cut this piece out uh, so I've been told that it rusts uh, underneath there so I have yeah cut that out and as you can see yeah, it is um, pretty rusty so that'll need cutting out and a new piece welded in uh, the right hand side uh, piece out uh, just where the support for the tray and the cab mounts go so I'll have to yeah cut and shut that one as well so um, what I've done on the other side is to get access into it so, so that piece there I've actually just cut that piece out so so yeah that's um I've cut that out to then allow me to get access 
uh, into here to basically cut this section out and then weld a new piece in there. And then yeah, I'll probably just make up a, a new piece to go in there. So uh, what I'll do is I'll probably make it um, all, um, so make it go, uh, so cover up this little area here and then go all the way down there. So I should, um, and then I might make it straight just to tidy that up. Okay, so that piece is bent up, sitting in there. That curve is exactly the same as the chassis, which is which is good. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty pretty much a pretty nice uh, fit there. So I'll um, I'll weld that in place and I can grind it all back and should never really know that it's um, been repaired. So. Okay, so everything's welded in and I've ground it all back. So yeah, it's nice and smooth. Can't really tell that there's a patch been put in there, which is um, which is ideal, so pretty happy with that. Uh, also this blanking plate here, that's welded in and ground back, so that come out pretty good too. So I've just yeah, wire wheeled um, all, all this section and I'll probably just put some uh, edge primer on it. Um, but first I'll um, make up this piece here and then weld that in. And then yeah, I've got the other side to, to do still. So this side, that piece is all right. So I'll be able to just uh, wire wheel that back and um, yeah, that hasn't rusted through, which is good. <clears throat> but yeah, obviously this piece still needs um, repairing. So I'll just have to do the same, cut this out and weld another piece in there. So I just got these washers made up out of three mil plate. So they're just um, CNC plasma cutted. Um, so just a machine shop around the corner. They uh, cut them up for me. So yeah, they just obviously slot in there. A little bit tight, so we'll have to grind a little bit off. Also, I'll put a uh, 45 degree sh chamfer on the washer and then also 45 degree on the chassis as well. And then that'll allow the weld to penetrate just so it's yeah, nice and strong being a mount. Okay, so that's sitting in there, nice fit. Got the 45 on both sides, so nice little valley in there for the weld. Okay, so that's pretty much all the chassis repair jobs done now. So 
pretty happy with how it's all turned out. Looks um, definitely a lot smoother than from factory. So I really like the, uh, you know, this straight line here and then how it's moved off here as well. So, and then yeah, also filling in that uh, filler for the fuel tank. So it looks, yeah, pretty happy with how that looks. So yeah, also got the chassis mounts uh, are welded in there. So hardly tell that anything's been done there. So pretty happy with that. Got this piece sitting in here. I've put a uh, blanking plate in there as well. So that looks nice and smooth. I've just got this sitting in for now. I'm not gonna weld it in because I'm gonna take this back off um, so I can pretty much um, pull it put it out, pull it out and then uh, then I can wash the inside of the chassis so I can get a gun um, in in here and wash out the whole chassis um, out of yeah all the dirt and stuff that has built up over time so basically once I get this full link in I'm gonna yeah strip this whole chassis back and then either get a uh, mobile sandblaster to come around and sandblast it or yeah or just you know get the wire wheel out and do it all not sure yet. So yeah, that's that's sitting in there, so pretty happy with that. Uh, the other side, same thing. All looks pretty pretty smooth. And yeah, this is just all the all the shit steel that's been cut out and replaced. So yeah. Next job will be fit this four link once it arrives. I'm still waiting on it. So yeah, that's pretty much um, um, how to stand still until I get this full link and I can fit this in and then once it's fitted in, I can pull the diff out, send it to the diff builder and then strip all the chassis back and basically, um, yeah, paint the whole chassis. Okay, so that's it for today's video guys. Hope you got something out of that and a bit more aware of the common areas that rust develops on the one ton of chassis. So yeah, if you did get something out of it, hit that like and subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification so you get alerts on when a new video comes out on this uh, 355 build. So hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. So cheers guys.